Hi folks, this is our third time together as we plan for Sunday service, half eleven as usual, God willing. We trust that you're keeping well. If you need us, you know where we are. Please contact me if you need any help. Things are moving on. People are staying in very well or as far as we can tell. But issues do arise and with the church that's the same as well in the church family. And we've had to make some decisions and make some plans as we look ahead because we know that it's going to be a while before we meet again together. In this past week we decided, effective from the 1st of April, to take, make use of the government scheme to furlough our church workers. That would be Hester and Richard as organists, Ian as pastoral visitor and Marion as family and youth ministry coordinator. Effectively that means that they'll not be working in the next while and we do seek to avail of the government scheme to help financially at this time when we're not sure about income. Before Marion stepped down, she set up a WhatsApp group or helped with me called Terrace Row Together to set up with the numbers, the mobile numbers that she had. And if you're not part of it, but we'd like to be part of it, we're very happy to extend it. Do please phone me. The number you will have as 028 7035 5397 or email me at a brown at Ireland.org. Please note that the BT, BT Open World number is not working now. That group is for prayer, for requests, for scripture to share together and to celebrate God's creation when we're absent from one another. We also plan to start a prayer time. It's mentioned in the letter and I had my first conference with Zoom this week and hope to set it up starting at 8.30 on the Wednesday after Easter. The reason I'm leaving it till after Easter is because as we move into what many call Holy Week, I hope to send through Facebook a devotion each day as we reflect on the events of Jesus last week as he's taken to the cross. Then of course we meet together in church on Good Friday at eight o'clock and on Sunday, Easter Sunday, we come together at 11.30 via Facebook and via YouTube. Also next Sunday, J Club will be meeting together on Zoom and Marion, as part of her voluntary work, uh, will be sharing that work. You will hear details from her. Then looking ahead, this is a time when many of us have time that we didn't normally have and don't normally have. And as Christians, it's an opportunity to grow closer to God. If you would like to do so, I'm willing to run a group that it involves more in-depth study. It's called Navigators 2.7, based on Colossians chapter 2, verse 7. You can take a look at it. The course is available, at least the first section is available on Amazon via kin and Kindle. The aim is to equip us as followers of Christ and to broaden and deepen our knowledge of Scripture. The groups would be from anything from four to 12 people. And if it more than one, more than one group is interested, I am happy to run more than one group with you. It can be as a family, it can be as couples or as single people. I can make a special appeal to our students who find themselves without coursework, really from sixth form upwards. If you would be interested in forming a group yourselves, I'm also very happy to help you with that. We wish you God's blessing. We look forward to sharing with you on Sunday, half past 11. And as we meet together, let's remember Psalm 103. <clears throat> the Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love. He does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. May the Lord bless you in these days.